Hey, good morning, guys. Johnny with Blazer Grass Lawn Care. Hope everybody's doing well. Beautiful morning. It's like 72 degrees. This is nice, man. Uh, but it's supposed to get, um, it's supposed to get up in the 90s. I think it was like highs of 92 or 93 today. Yeah. All right, so as usual, I'm walking the property first before I mow. And remember, this is something that you guys should do. I don't treat this lawn, all I do is mow it. Okay, so we got some new sod over here. So this is not where I'm going to touch it. I'm not going to touch this area because we have some sod that was put down. Okay. All right, so so our properties are now bi-weekly and yeah every two weeks come on do these properties and believe it or not this is a uh, two-week growth on this particular property so but yeah everything kind of slows down on us this time of the year And eventually it's going to probably mid-November then we go probably once a month because it it doesn't stop growing but it'll slow down big time and then you have the properties where you have um, the leaves and stuff like that so but yeah so as far as leaf cleanup and stuff like that. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, we do uh, what I do, minor leaf cleanups. I don't go out there and do a whole bunch of leaf cleanup. I mainly, for those who, <laughs> I guess if you're asking um, or curious, I don't do too much during the winter time. Um, because again, guys, I'm like a, I'm like a bear. I'm like a, I'm like a squirrel. I save all my money and during the winter time, I'm chilling. I do the bare minimum. And yeah, that's what I do. So, you know, I know you guys have been seeing a lot of Toro equipment. And that's because, um, just so you guys know, when, when, when you see equipment, doesn't mean that I left a specific brand. Um, let me see how much power this thing have. Oh, this is empty. Yeah, I haven't left a specific brand, guys. You know, <laughs> um, it's like saying you only buy one type of clothing brand. You know what I mean? I use a little bit of everything, guys. Simple as that. A little bit of everything. That's, that's, that's what my channel is all about. It's to show you guys. Yeah, you go. Full power. It's to show you guys what is out there. And let me make sure the traffic is not coming. And guys, keep in mind, you know, a lot of people, um, like I was watching this video today, this morning. Because, I, you know, I try to watch some of these videos in the morning before I leave. And um, one thing that I will tell you is that battery power equipment is not for everybody battery powered equipment is not for every situation 
um, and battery power equipment is not for every type of turf so again what I would suggest is utilize the battery power equipment and see if it uh, if it'll work for you okay It works for me. Why? Because I do weeklies and I do bi-weeklies and these are the condition my properties are in. Now some of you guys will say this thing doesn't need any mowing. So that tells me that, you know, when you get to a property, you expect it to be super high. No, that's not the type of customers that I have. And we all have different types of customers. I'm just messing up with my agent, man. I guess because I'm, I'm talking and I'm working. Maybe I need to stop one <laughs> and do a voiceover. This is where the new saw is. So I'm doing the trimming first. And then I'll come back and mow.
See, so I start on this side, come around this side, and then I start mowing. Makes it easier. There you go. Then minor little areas that I miss. Cause I wasn't paying attention. Like this little spot right here. Get this real quick. I gotta cut this these limbs. Uh, but I'll do that probably next time. And then I gotta trim these. So I'll probably come back next week and take care of that. Um, this way the homeowner can see from the uh, from inside. So I'll take like this and take it all the way down. This way they can see and then trim that up. But yeah, this is it. How's it going, man? Yeah. See that? Everything is quiet, man. And... Let me see... This one is full. Here's my empty one. And I'll come over here. Open this up. Did I have it open? Put it right here and plug it into my solar powered and with these guys I can get a uh, charge for my batteries throughout the whole week. And if you're interested in the Ocmo power station, um, I'll put a link on the top, see? So once it stop sucking power from this, this will automatically shut off. So this is why I like this one. And guys, keep in mind, um, this is awesome. It'll run a refrigerator, it'll run um, fans, it will run, I mean, you name it. So it's a, it's a good power station to have. And then you have the solar panels that go with it or you can charge it up uh in your uh in your car or you can do it at home so yeah it's a good uh good power station to have you know what let me get the tripod and i bet you I didn't bring, and I don't think I did, but I'll figure something out. Hopefully, I don't know. We'll see. Stand it up. 
Quick and easy that was. All with a dog on 42 inch. I'm telling you, this is why I use a 42 inch mower because a 42 inch mower will blow uh, my front and back. Why am I going this way? Hold on for a second. Yeah, so a 42 inch will blow my front and back. I mean, blow. What? <laughs> I'm all confused because I'm grabbing the blower. <laughs> my bad. Um, it'll mow my front and back. And put this here. Yeah. And I don't have to use anything different. Now, if I had a 52, um, then it'll make it a little bit different difficult because I can't get in the back and around certain obstacles. All right, so this is my cold start. It's the way I do it every morning. 
pump it like five, six times, and then uh, turn on my choke. This is a BR800C with a side start. I've had this blower for the past two and a half years and never had an issue, but I promise you I'm gonna have an issue because I'm on camera. equipment off after every use just uh, a habit Except for the back, I couldn't film the mowing. you're saying you didn't put the lights back nope it was supposed to be out by the time I came man if I was your customer how far are you <laughs> This is what happens when you blow against the wind. pretty nice right let me get out the way for the popo there you go beautiful beautiful centipede lawn and a mode at a height of tag I didn't even remember three and a half yep three and a half all right
Okay, how can I do this? Okay, I want to make sure you guys see everything, right? So this is the equipment defender rack. And you can put this in enclosed and regular trailer. And it has a bar. You lock it, take your key, lock it right here. No one can steal the stuff. So again, if you're interested, I have a code link in the video description. So yeah, um, and my battery stuff is uh, Toro. And again, it is a homeowner stuff, but uh, it works for me, okay? And guys, so you know, I do carry, for the past three years, I've been carrying a uh, FS111 RX. Um, <laughs> and I've, uh, matter of fact, I need to clean it. I've never used it in three years, but it's there just in case. And I've been doing uh, commercial and residential properties and I haven't needed it, so it is what it is, right? All right, guys, once again, this is the property. And I'm through. On to the next. All right, guys, thank you for, oh, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Have a blessed one. See you on the next one. Ah. Beautiful, beautiful day. Pop smoke. Peace.